pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That video? My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. That's why I had to interrupt it. However, in doing so, I set free a number of shadows that are certain to torment future generations. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. Please, listen carefully. I cannot stress this enough. You must not hunt the shadows that have dispersed. Oops. Huh? This part's... I wasn't able to stop this madness. He won't listen no matter what I say. He's under the devil's spell. Now the shadows are trying to eat one another. But if they're reunited, then we are all doomed. I'll say this once more. Leave the shadows be. This is the original video. Before Ikutsuki changed it. Dad tried to stop the experiment. There's not much hope for me now. I have just one favor to ask. Whoever finds this, please, give my daughter Yukari this message. I know I promised I'd be home soon, and I'm sorry to break that promise. But I want you to know, Daddy was the happiest man on Earth when he was with you. This is a freaking sad game. Please, take care of yourself. Dad? Dad? Daddy? <laughs> um, Fuka, you might have wanted to warn her that the video included her dad blowing I know up. one thing for sure now. I was right to believe in him. Are you listening, Dad? I'm doing okay. It took a while, but I finally got your message. The resolution in Yukari's heart has awakened a new persona. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is cool. Io has given rise to Isis. Obviously, this was pre the rise of the Worldwide I'll Organization. Fight for what I believe Isis. in. That's what she would have wanted. Yes. Right, Dad? Alright, well, let's go to sleep. I don't seem to be feeling well. Yeah, no kidding. You know, you could have warned me, Igor. Welcome. As Yo. I'm sure you are aware, you are currently in a dream. Now then, there has been a change in you recently. Have you noticed? And I am not referring to your change in circumstances. I am referring to the change in your mentality. Well, I'm pissed that off. That is why I have summoned you here tonight. Oh, good. <laughs> Going forward, there is one thing you mustn't forget. That's the contract that you signed. I see you recognize it. Shall I remind you of your commitment? I chooseth this fate of mine own free will. I just signed that to get in the there door. There is no need to worry. <laughs> Whichever path you choose, I shall respect your decision. However, only you will bear the responsibility for your actions, no matter what end they may bring about. Please, remember that. Well then, I bid you farewell. See you later, Igor. Oh. 
Yo, see? Chidori. She's just in the hospital, dude. I'm sorry about not being able to come lately. A uh, lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So you heard about Takai and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. They jumped they off that bridge of their before. own free will. What? That's not it? I'm scared. It hurts. Junpei, what will you be doing in two years? Two years? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. Why do you ask? Hey, I, I noticed you stopped, you know, uh, hurting yourself. Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. <gasps> Don't touch me. Oh, uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Oh, he picked the wrong social link option. This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But it's different now. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I... I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I, I don't understand. D did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei. Don't come here anymore. But, uh, Chidori. Harsh. <laughs> Oh, well, we're back to our normal social link life, and I don't remember where any of our social links were, so let's uh, check that out. Alright. Oh yeah, we maxed out student council, didn't we? Five, seven, eight. Alright, well, let's try and hang out with Yuko if we can. I don't remember where we were in the rotation, but... Uh, just be careful and save the game. No, we can't hang out with Yuko. Do we have any options? Yes, we have Bebe. Alright, Bebe. Let's do this. Home Acker, the sewing machine's bud steadily in sync, and you're having a good time hanging out with Bebe. Let's take a break now. Makoto-sama, you have gotten much better at this. Subarashi, wonderful. Oh, thank you. I have to get better too. I am glad to have such a great friend. Tomodachi as my rival. Bebe seems happy. Makoto-sama, I would like to make something uh, Japanese, but what? Uh, how about something traditional? A kimono. It has to be a kimono, but that is very hard to make. I don't know how, plus it is expensive. Hmm, I will think about it. Arigato, thank you for the advice. Makoto-sama, you are the only one I can talk to here. You are so nice. Bebe seems truly grateful. And your relationship is strong. Now, again, obviously I am very ignorant about Japanese culture and, and stuff. Uh, so what is the difference between a yukata, a hakama, and a kimono? Because from what I've seen, they look very similar. I'm sure there are significant differences, but I can't tell. Level three. Oh, look at the time. I must go up now. Elizabeth's calling to let me know that there's an unblocked path in Tartar. We were at the top of Tartarus. There's no other blockage. Where have you been? Looks like Mitsuru won't be coming back for a while. I'd like to think she'll be okay, but I'm not sure what to think this time. 
Breaking news. Over the last two days, apathy syndrome has spread even further. Everyone is disappointed after the announcement said it would begin to diminish around the 20th. Yo, Koro. Yeah. Maybe I should try and take somebody for a walk. I mean, like, it's not like I'm doing much else in the evenings. Hey, I guess. You okay? I am truly sorry. Even though he took control of me, I cannot believe I did such a thing to you. Can you ever forgive me? Of course I can. It wasn't your fault. Thank you very much. I will train hard so that I can be a great help to you. What was Akutsuki-chan trying to say? He died before explaining the most important thing. I never thought he would be capable of doing such a thing. Yeah, I know I brought this up way back when Shinji died, but uh, I haven't really experienced it this time around. I know I've played it before and, and seen some of these the dialogue that, that was uh, in question, but okay, anyway, let me explain. If you look up Kanamata on the internet, people really don't like this kid because... I think primarily because of a mistranslation or a, or a change in dialogue, but in the original Japanese version, a lot of his dialogue after Shinjiro's death is what you'd expect and what we've honestly seen. So maybe it was only in the original Persona 3 and they changed it for FES, but Ken's dialogue expressed regret over Shinji's death. Obviously, you know, he's like, oh, he died for me and I, you know, I have to figure out what to do with my life. But in at least the original Persona 3, the dialogue Ken had made it seem like he was mad that Shinji died and that he wasn't the one that killed him. And that really turned people off. Add to the fact that when Persona 3 for the PSP came out and added a female protagonist that at least in Japan, Ken was a romance option. Yes, a ten-year-old. And uh, he didn't have a huge American fan base, but uh, later on he would sort of become more popular due to some... Uh, some later appearances, like uh, spin-off game stuff, so he's kind of been rescued from being uh, the joke or the, the, the hated character, but you'll still find people who are really mad at him about Shinjiro's death, even though, you know, Shinji was the one that chose to sacrifice himself. Anyway, just a random bit of trivia there. Jeez, they found someone with apathy syndrome at my cram school, too. They're all over the place. You know, I hear the problem isn't just limited to this city. It's happening everywhere. Wonder what's going to happen to this country. Don't say this country. Why? <laughs> or she just said Japan? Uh, so we can hang out with Yukari. That is a good option. Just checking to see if Yuko's available. And she is. I'm gonna hang out with Yuko because we're so close to the end of her social link. And I don't remember the last girl we hung out with. So I'm gonna still have to do this rotation and be careful, but... I would like to get one of the girls out of the rotation of hanging out so that we can move on. Alright. I'm gonna hang out with uh, Chihiro next. Hello! Alright, I'm gonna make a habit of saving the game after I hang out with one of the girls, just in case. Every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. What's up, Koro? He wants to go for a walk. Uh, sure. If no one else has taken him out, you can walk Koromaro at night. Occasionally, your dorm mates will join you. Walking Koromaro will take up your time for the night. I have never actually done this. Let's go for a walk with Koromaru. Mamoru! Hey, it's Makoto. What are you doing out this late? Oh, I get it. Gotta walk the dog, huh? I didn't know you had one. We used to have one, too. Man, that dog was awesome. You talked for a while. Oh, I got level up points with Mamoru. I am gonna have to start hanging out with Koromaru more. I did not know I could do that. I uh, don't have a minute, baby. I'm sorry. And, uh, oh, I think we could finish up our Akinari link today. Let's go to the shrine. Let's see how our good friend, the 
sickly young man is doing. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 38, Hammer Ambush. Viewers, treat your friends right. And now the news. Due to the sudden increase of apathy syndrome victims, the hospital is overflowing with... And we're not going to finish that sentence. Akinari! Get out of my way, slide! I've been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. As you know, I was having a lot of trouble with the ending, but I finally figured it out. Since the alligator ate his friend the bird, he cried, and cried for a very long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a beautiful lake, around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree with delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it, or that he was gone. The end. Well, that's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator did not find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. Because the meaning of my life is not something I should worry about. It's really what I think, or excuse me, it's really what others think of my life, or what I was able to do for them. So for me, or you, or anyone, the meaning of our lives is something that we make, but don't see. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know if that made sense, but do you kind of get what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. It's all I have to leave behind. I wanted you to have something since you viewed my last moments, or shared my last moments. Obtained a worn notebook. My body feels lighter. Thank you for everything. Coming to see me, talking, even discussing the meaning of life. I can be glad that I was born. You came to understand Akinari's kindness, and your relationship is stronger now. Thou art I, and I am thou, and we have done a thing that made a thing happen, and the sun is great now. The Dying Young Man Social Link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the Dying Young Man Social Link. The Sun Arcana has max, and you forged upon the can't be broken. Asura King, the Grand Being, is now fusible. I have to go now. Maybe... Someday, I hope, we meet again. Um, what? Akinari is gone. You gripped his notebook tightly and decided to head back to the dorm. Was that his force ghost or something? Where have you been? With Koromaru. Oh, hey, Yuko. Aw, oh, you're really lucky. We can't have any pets at our place. You talk for a while. Yay! Good news. Want to hear it? I know you do. I heard the boy who's transferring here today is a stud. Really? Are you just messing with me? No, I heard it from someone who saw him filling out the forms. Which class? 11th grade, classroom F. 
Oh, well, that's disappointing. But I'll go check him out later. Are they all like fawning over the scarf dude? The class seems unamused. Please introduce yourself. My name is Ryoji Mochizuki. I would be grateful if you could show me the ropes. <laughs> hey, he's kind of cute. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not so loud. You can hear the girls whispering. Nice to meet you. He seems to be looking in your direction. Ryoji lived overseas for a long time because of his parents' work. So he may not be used to all of our customs. Be sure to explain them to him. Now then, you need a seat. Let's see. Oh, that one's open. Second from the left in the front. Um, Miss Toriyumi, technically that seat's taken. Again? We're gonna go through this? You must be present to be a member of this class. So as far as I'm concerned, that seat is available. <laughs> Life is nothing but a game of musical chairs. The rest of you should be careful too. <laughs> Good morning. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Uh, nobody you introduced are dangerous. <laughs> dangerous? I haven't even asked you out on a date yet. A date? Uh-oh. <laughs> I, guess. I guess what's wrong with you? <laughs> Rejected from the start. You're an interesting girl. Your teacher understands, I guess. <laughs> you haven't had very long to be the new student, and already you have to share the spotlight. <laughs> I wish your classmates would pay attention to me for a change. Hey, are any of you even listening? Poor Miss Torayumi. The most normal teacher in a school full of fruitcakes. Quiet down, everyone. Just because we have a transfer student doesn't give you a license to misbehave. Anyone who doesn't settle down will be left out of the school trip next week. Got it? Good. Now, let's begin today's lecture. Where did we leave off last time? Ah, forget it. I'm not using the textbook. <laughs> She's had enough problems. I'm not going to go to sleep. Indeed, t'was I who found the corpse. I'm not going to say it again. Be quiet. The students who want to pay attention can't hear. If you must gossip about Ryoji, you can wait until the break, or just ask him yourself. <laughs> Alright, I could hang out with Yukari or Chihiro. I'm gonna go with Yukari. And we're gonna hope that this doesn't upset Chihiro. I don't remember the order we were hanging out in. Ah, almost level up with Yukari. What do you think about that Ryoji kid? He's going around asking out every girl he sees. Damn, I wish I had his guts. Not another one. <laughs> Questions directed to the cultural anthropologist. According to his hypothesis, the current wave of apathy syndrome was due to end on the 20th. However, with the syndrome spreading even further, his trust has been tied in a knot, set in the corner, and beaten to death. Nah, uh, no walk. Hey, I guess. Be careful of Ryoji-san. There is something about him. I don't know exactly what, though. <laughs> I gotta do some stuff. 
Oh, hey! Elizabeth wants to go to Gekko Khan High. Alright, well, we'll do that tomorrow. Morning. I heard Mitsuru Senpai is coming back to the. Uh. I heard Mitsuru Senpai is coming back today. That's good. I guess so. I'm sure she's feeling kind of down. I don't blame her, of course. All right. Let's see who wants to hang out. Hey, Chihiro wants to hang out. What's wrong? Alright, let's hang out with Chihiro. Perfect. And baby. Sorry, baby. I'll hang out with you if you're not free with somebody. Let's go. She wants help with her homework. All right, well, whatever. I'm missing the theme, honey. No one's found it yet. No one said anything to me, but I know what they're all thinking. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to be here. Sorry, I shouldn't be saying things like this as a member of student council. I'm gonna go check out some books. So yeah, there's no way it could be anyone else. It has to be her. That girl in student council. The sophomore with the long hair and the glasses. The one who's always reading. I hear she stole the class's money. 2,500 yen per person. Damn, I could buy a brand name purse with that much. I hear she has no father. There's no way she could have any money since her mom only works part-time. How could it not be her? She has such an innocent face, though. Say something to them. Pudding! No. What do you want? Are you a friend of Chihiro's? Then again, maybe not. You don't look like you'd be hanging out with her. Excuse me, this is the library. Please show some courtesy. Let's go outside. I'll tell you the whole story. I couldn't find it. Chihiro looks like she's about to cry. Let's get out of here. You left the library. You heard that rumor going around the whole school, right? The only time I feel safe is when I'm with you, Makoto-san. I have no one else to turn to in school. Rumors will stop soon. So you think I should just wait it out, Makoto-san? I know you're probably right, but when will the rumors stop? Will everyone just assume I'm guilty? Chihiro seems a little sad. It may sound like I'm weak, but I'm fine. Really, I am. I don't think it's right for me to always be counting on you, Makoto-san. Chihiro is on the verge of tears. Despite what she said, you sense that Chihiro needs your support. And your relationship is stronger now. You have become even closer to Chihiro. It's time to go home. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I guess that's all we're gonna say to her. Greetings. Mitsuru-san has just returned to the dorm. She looked really tired. She went straight to her room without saying a word. Are you worried about her? Worried? No, not exactly. How should I say this? I... I feel responsible for what happened. That's rough. Ah, busy 
not in the mood for a walk. I'm gonna try one other thing. I, I honestly have no idea if it's a feature in Persona 3, but in Persona 4, you can go to the shrine at night, and, uh... Yeah, I guess you can't go to the shrine at night. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, I forgot to take Elizabeth to the to school. I'll do that tomorrow. I got caught up in hanging out with Chihiro. Alright, gotta remember to hang out with Elizabeth today. Hey, have you seen the transfer student in Class 2F? Isn't he handsome? Oh yeah, I did. Ryoji, right? He's kind, handsome, and rich! I'm going for him for real this time. Well, that's not fair, I called dibs! Everyone knows the law of dibs when it comes to your entire life and relationships. Kari, huh? What's up? If I hang out with you, Yuko might get annoyed. Yuko wants to hang out. Alright, we're gonna hang out with Yuko after we hang out with Elizabeth. And then we'll be able to go hang out with Yukari on the next day. She's available, at least. Alright, so before I go anywhere else, we're going to go to the mall and hang out with Elizabeth. To the mall! Alright, let's go on a date with Elizabeth. I've been expecting you. Shall we be on our way? Gekukan High School. A place of learning. It comes as quite a shock that such a warm, luminous place transforms into Tartarus each night. Hmm, what should I do? Everyone here seems to be wearing a predetermined uniform. I may draw too much attention to myself. I hope this won't pose a problem. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure they see elevator attendants all the time. I need your advice. Now then, excuse me as I make myself less conspicuous. Elizabeth moved very close behind you. If I stay hidden from view this way, there will be nothing to worry about. Um... Now, onward and into the school. <laughs> Is this really the plan we're going with? Find a bastion of commerce inside a house of learning. Could you please wait here for a moment? There's something I've been curious about for a while. Excuse me, I'd like to purchase a school lunch. <laughs> oh, yes? <coughs> uh, they only sold bread. I would have liked to taste these school lunches in their native environment. But I've heard that having bread for lunch can be a pleasure in itself. It may prove to be a serendipitous substitute. <laughs> Elizabeth seems to have bought bread. Now that we're done here, I'd like to see your home room. Uh, sure, but there are a lot of people in there that are going to have questions as to why, who you are and why I'm hanging out with you. So many desks and students, with such a limited amount of space between them. But perhaps... Yes, I see. It's designed this way to foster a sense of harmony with others. Well, that and the budget is crap. The careful thought and foresight from whoever arranged things this way. This observation post must be what they call a podium. I see. Standing behind it does cause a longing to teach to well up inside of me. First question. 
<laughs> diet food or super diet food? Which is tastier? Super diet food. That is correct. <laughs> As a reward for giving the correct answer, you will receive your own portion of super diet food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually expect her to give up whatever what that is. This classroom lecture is like. <laughs> I'm feeling rather uneasy with so many eyes on me. So let us move on with the tour. <laughs> you decided to walk around the school with Elizabeth. Who drew the weird one punch man drawing in the corner there? I've never been in half these rooms. <laughs> you walk around the school with Elizabeth. Now that I've experienced student life, my outlook on your world has broadened even further. I'd be happy to accompany you again any time. Huh. Although, to be honest, I don't entirely understand my own motives in wanting to come here. But while walking so closely beside you, I... How should I express this? I felt very fulfilled. <laughs> Perhaps what I really wanted to learn at school was more about you. Oh, well, they don't but offer I, classes about that, so... In any case, Discovering the reasons behind this desire should provide an intriguing diversion for me. It's probably because I'm the only boy who isn't Igor that you know. In fact, I'm the only other person that isn't Igor that I think you know. Alright, well, let's make sure that we turn that request in. I'm slowly beginning to understand why being there lifted my spirits. Gekukan isn't just part of your world, it's a place where you spend time on a daily basis. A place saturated with your presence, ew. That's why I... I'll leave that aside for now. It requires further consideration. Instead, let me give you a reward. It's another special gift. With this, you can fuse Hell Biker. <laughs> he's a frightful man, but he's also a part of you. Like the rest, he emerges from the sea of your soul. Please accept your reward. The Red Muffler, okay. Okay, let's go hang out with Yuko now. I'm glad this day is infinitely long, so that I can have all that time to goof off with Elizabeth, and Yuko's still going to be standing by the sinks. But why are there just random sinks in the hallway? Is that a Japanese thing, or is it just a Gekukan is weird thing? Alright, Yuko, let's go do something. Um, about last time. I'm sorry if I said anything weird. Can we just forget about that? Forget about what? Oh, if you don't remember, that's even better. <laughs> hey, maybe my motherly instincts came out after coaching those kids. It's so embarrassing just thinking about it. Do you remember what I told you at Wild Duck Burger? How Mr. Ricotta reprimanded me about my classic literature quiz? Back then, I just wanted to graduate and go to a community college. But after coaching those kids, I started to realize something. I enjoy helping people who are willing to give it their all. Guess what I want to be? An instructor? Close! You've almost got it, Mr. Ex-Assistant Coach. I'm thinking of becoming an athletic trainer. You have to monitor each athlete's diet and help them plan their training schedule. I'll go to professional school once I graduate and work towards earning my certification. Between the general educa education requirements and the classes for my major, it adds up to over 350 hours. That's why I'm going to start studying right away. Improving my writing is the first goal. It took me three nights to finish that three-page essay. I learned a lot from those kids when I first started coaching them. I was thinking about how I would teach my own kids one day, and I didn't have the slightest clue. Well, that all changed you hadn't been there with me, I'm not sure I would have been able to coach those kids. And I wouldn't have ever thought about my future either. So thank you. 
Yuko seems appreciative. Your relationship is stronger. I think that's level 9? Really close to the end of this one. Yeah, one more to go. Well, I have to go, so I've got to study. Wish me luck, Makoto-kun. Doctors working multiple shifts due to the number of patients. With some doctors succumbing to apathy syndrome themselves, the situation is worsening. Let's go for a walk. Yay! Is that it? Ah, uh, Nobody wanted to hang out, he just found a can of trash soda. Uh, I can't hang out with you, Yukari. I've already booked Chihiro for the weekend. Alright, now I need to hang out with Yukari next. I don't think she's available on Thursdays, though. We begin! Om Vajra Ratna Om. Today, we'll be examining regional forms of magic. First up is India, where one of the birthplaces of, well, one of the birthplaces of magic. You may not think of India as an especially magical place, but it's precisely the opposite. If you think about it, esoteric Buddhist magic came from India. It was a definite influence on Gnosticism and the foundation of modern-day theosophy. It's said that the Upanishads, part of the Verdas of the original books of magic. What? It's said that the Upanishads, part of the Vedas, are the original books of magic. Many ancient Indians were passionate in their search for magic. Those Indian magicians emerged in similar circumstances as other places around the world. In India, it's traditional to lead a pious life. But eventually, some people claim to have immense power through tapasya. At first, their claims were rejected, but they slowly gained power and numbers. Eventually, they were accepted in common practice. They are the asceticists mentioned in the Upanishads. However, a normal human wouldn't be able to mimic their skills. The tapas bins have surpassed the limitations of humanity. Do you think you could fast and pray for months at a time without eating or sleeping? You would die before attaining any powers. So it's understandable that the Buddha rejected such extreme asceticism. Of course, the Upanishads aren't all about such wild practices. They contain very practical methods, too. Yoga, for instance, was also introduced in these scriptures. Are you all listening? No out-of-body projections now? <laughs> Perhaps a test is in order to see if you were listening. Get it wrong, and I'll pile on some extra bad karma. Om Vajraratna Om. Of course, you're gonna call Makoto, as always. What is the ancient Indian magical text I mentioned today? The Upanishads. Correct. Remember to live an honest life. Moving forward, yoga is full of variations. Some asanas are for health, while others are for prayer and worship. One important system is Hatha Yoga, a type of yoga most people are familiar with today. In this yoga, one cultivates a healthy body to attain purity of mind. You can even do it hot! Oh, Yukari is available today. Let's go hang out with Yukari. Hey, do you remember when those guys stole my wallet and you came to help me? Um, sorry I got so mad at you. I don't like having to depend on other people. I wanted to be able to take care of it myself. But I ended up needing your help. I never told you this, but I was really glad you came. I don't think I could say this to anyone else, Makoto-kun. Thanks for your help back then. I really appreciate it. Anytime. I'm trying to play it cool, eh? The two of you have grown much closer. Level 6. 
Yep. Creeping up the ranks. Oh, and now we have jealousy on Yukari, too. Great. <laughs> wow, it's getting late. Greetings. Today's Cantonese word is Chinyan. Make a heart with your hands and say Chinyan. Chinyan means Tatsuya, I mean lover. If you catch apathy syndrome, you won't be Chinyan anymore. That's all for this week. Back to the news. Um, I guess we're not walking Koromaru. Kyoto trip is almost here. I don't care much about shrines, but I'm still excited about it. Me too. I want to see deers, deers, and deers. Just deers, huh? Wait a minute, you're thinking of Nara. I don't know anything about Kyoto and Nara, so I can't comment on it. Alright, let's see who, if anyone, is available. There's Bebe. I can hang out with him. I want to check. I feel like there should be one more social link available. Nope. I think Mitsuru becomes available either now or soon. It might just be the wrong day, so I guess we'll hang out with Bebe 